You like the shirt? Uh -huh. I can't remember who's making the Mandalorian. Dave Filoni. Yes, that's right. He doesn't like when people call him um, the, the child, should I, should I say, baby, baby Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> Technically, it's not Yoda. It's just the same as clone Yoda. Clone Palpatine. Uh, I don't know if it's clone Yoda. It's just same species as Yoda, mm -hmm. which we don't know what the species is. Yeah. So right now, it's the baby. So baby Yoda. Baby. Eh, no. Uh, well, baby Yoda opened some things in the Rise of Skywalker, which, by the way, welcome. Um, hey, guys. Welcome to our spoiler section for The Rise of Skywalker, which is very delayed. Um, yeah, this this movie has been out for two months by now, and so, um, well, a month and a half. Uh, yeah, just about, because it came out, what, December 19th? December 25th? No, not, no, December 19th. I think it came out, it's the Thursday. So whatever that Thursday was, it came out that day. Uh, so I, What I only liked was the buckets and the... Uh, and that we got. <laughs> and the $60 R2-D2 that nobody should have purchased because it was a that? waste of money. No, oh, good I didn't. Thank I was God. like, I was up at that stand. It's like, hey, how much is this? She's like, 60 I was like, uh. It was plastic and it was about yay big bitch. and it held hot popcorn and a drink. But the drink you had to like pour in the head and so it could spill. It was very dumbly designed, yeah. but a bunch of idiots bought it. Can I say idiots on your channel? It's, hey, hey, we're an adult channel. We a bunch drop, of idiots bought it. We can drop F-bombs all we want. No, that's not gonna happen. So, this isn't a, a John McClane movie, so. Oh, which, by the way, they're making another I Die know. Hard. Not surprising. <laughs> called John McClane. That's actually called McClane. It's all about the money. So, all right, um, go ahead, sorry. So, yeah, we're gonna be talking about The Rise of Skywalker, which, do you wanna go in order, or do you just wanna jump all over the place? Let's see. Wait, let's jump all over the place like the movie. All right, let's see. What was the worst part about the movie? Uh, how did Palpatine... Wait, you know what? Who did Palpatine do to <laughs> create Rey? Because Rey is related to Palpatine. So who would want to get near that face? It's his grandchild. And yeah. it sounded like it happened while he would have been like a chancellor yeah. before he was evil, you know, that kind of thing. So, um... Uh, Ray is, you know, the child of um, Pal Palpatine's oh, son. Yeah. So, why does Palpatine have a son? Where did his son come from? Never mentioned. Palpatine had a wife, but then was like telling Anakin he shouldn't have a wife. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, lots of plot holes. I mean, like, there's a love interest in, um, mentioned in the comments, which I don't read comments. I just found out. She was probably that. evil. It was probably a Saj Ventress. They would have been perfect like, together. Where did they get 12,000 ships from basically at the end? Uh, Nobody knows. They all just knew how to hyperspace jump Leia's through. Leia's last wish. Um, she died. She, she should have died in the last Jedi. Yeah, but she floated back onto the ship. <laughs> so basically it was who can make a crappier movie? And The Last Jedi still is winning. But this last movie was pretty dang it's, close. It's messy. It's very. It's. I don't know. I didn't see a lot in my, in my review, so I'm kind of intrigued what's going to come out. So it was a good movie if you like no logic to anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was a good fan movie. It was trying to be in game wise. It was trying to be like all that like fan service. It's like hey you, hey for those ones that didn't like the Last Jedi, here you go. And they like they talk to us like we're five. It's like. Jeez. Yeah, the they know how to hyperspace jump, which is like highly irregular, and a Millennium Falcon that looks like it's gonna fall that, is apart. That what it's called? Hyperspace yeah, hyperspace jumping. Yes. So uh, that was terrible. That could that should have ripped the ship in half. That's what I mean. The ship, if it was like the Millennium Falcon from a long time ago, where it was in Solo, like the Solo Millennium yeah, and then Falcon. Then I could believe it. Yeah, then, but, but this one, like the Millennium Falcon's falling apart. We had all those issues and. Uh, in the original trilogy series with mm -hmm. Han Solo, it was like, you know, the hyperspace, you know, the hyperdrive is broken, and now we can't jump into hyperspace. That, it was even broken in Force Awakens. Yeah, it's broken, like, all the time, yet it can do all those things. No thanks. Um, let's see what oh, else. Oh, Poe po Dameron's backstory. Yeah, that was weird. Um, the whole thing, Poe Dameron, they did a huge disservice to. 
Finn Poe. Originally, he was supposed to die in Force Awakens. Well, he was a good character. Yeah. Glad they kept him. Favorite <laughs> character. Because, like, um, in an interview, um, the guy that plays Poe, I can't remember his name, I, and I probably can't even say his name, but in an interview, he, um, the, uh, whoever was asked, uh, who was interviewing, asked, like, would you like to get your own Disney Plus show? He's like, no, no, please no, because his freaking backstory in this movie is just so terrible. Terrible, yeah. And like he was supposed to be like a blacksmith or something, like or like what was he was like a thief. He was a thief. That's what it was. Oh, like a smuggler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're trying to replace Han Solo. Well, that's. I'm glad that they didn't, because Han Solo is the only Han Solo. So, so yeah, they did that. Terrible. Um, Kylo Ren. <laughs> oh. the, the Rello that kissing scene. Literally, when that happened, I was like, there was a couple scenes I was like. They're gonna kiss, aren't they? They're gonna kiss. Okay, thank God. Oh, no, oh, they, they kissed. Yeah, and they kissed, and then it's like Kylo Ren just. It was the exact same thing as Darth Vader. Oh no, I did bad stuff. I need to be a good person. Why did he die? He, there was no reason for him to die. He used all the left, all what was left of his life force to force heal her. Apparently, it, the, nothing happened to Rey when she force healed. That it, it was less. He had like brought her back to life. Whereas he was just needed to be healed. I guess point. I guess if we saw a little bit more of it. We could like already accept it, but they won't because Thor. What they did is they put it in the Mandalorian because they knew a lot of people were gonna watch that, and so and that's why that was why it was on Wednesday instead of a Friday. Mm. And for one, it wasn't gonna make it wasn't gonna get as many views than normal because the Rise of Skywalker came out on the same day. And so terrible, but they're they're like this might save the movie a little bit. Then it really yeah, they know how to force heal all of a sudden, so we don't see this in the entire original series because everybody says Ray is extremely powerful. So no training, and she just knows how to do things all of a sudden. There was training. <laughs> she read books, textbooks, old Jedi books that that might had a force heal um, recipe in it. Yes, but Yoda, Mace Windu, none of them knew how to do anything. They could have force healed Anakin's arm back. Exactly. They could have force healed anything. I mean, at that point, they could have force healed uh, if Palpatine. Palpatine could have force healed his own face, but no, he uh, force sucked. Yeah, or he, or better idea, they could have force healed Padme so that Anakin would have no. never become Darth Vader. And then that would be the end of the series. He, he, if they saved his mom with a four seal in the second movie. Same would... thing. Or my favorite was when uh, <coughs> when Anakin, young, young Anakin, and the Phantom of the Menace. That it, what he could have done is he could have, or Phantom Menace, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, my brain's a little iffy too. Skip the news. Uh, what they could have done is they could have said, you know, Padme could have said, no, you're too young. Boom, end of movies. They never get together. It's done. They, it's over. How? This is off talking, but I, they really like their long age um, separation from like relationship. Yeah, <laughs> they did a really good job of doing a terrible job. Like so, like Anakin is probably ten in this, and the Phantom Menace, and Padme is like in her twenties. Yeah, that's what I mean. So like, she could have said, "You're too young, dude. No offense, <laughs> you're a Jedi. You can't have a child or a baby." Or, you know, a wife anyway, so. But I think it was supposed to show that he was a rebellious character anyway throughout the entire series. And he was. Mm -hmm. I think they so. had some of the comments, like, recon, like, retcon some of that stuff. But mm. I don't, that's what is the problem with this movie. Is that you have, you have to go watch the Star Wars Clone Wars. You have to go watch Rebels. You have to go read the comics, read these books to understand these movies. Absolutely. And so... And the most underrated character of any Star Wars movie, in my opinion, is Ahsoka Tano. She has the best storyline, the best plot line. She is the, you know, the pad, the Padawan. Excuse me. I would have liked it better if if she was, pa like, Padme, like, well, Padme. Like, she, that, like, she was Anakin's love life. Because mm -hmm. they really, they looked like in the Clone Wars, they would have had, a, like, a relationship. Well, it would have been, like, a brother sister type relationship oh, yeah. but you know you see all throughout you know the story that ahsoka tano is like the one person that can try and help 
you know, she brings out Anakin's best. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that because she wasn't she... related to him, she couldn't get it out of him. And that took his son, Luke Skywalker, um, and his sister. And it makes sense because when she left, everything started to go downhill for Anakin. Mm -hmm. Which we'll see in season Star Wars, seven. The Clone Wars, season yeah. seven. The final season. Yeah. Which, so. so can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. um, might have to bring you on for a couple episodes. Cause I'll be doing episodes. That's if I don't just watch them all in like five seconds. You, you have seen all the seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Multiple times. Of every of Rebels, of Clone Wars, mm -hmm. probably three or four times a piece. Yeah. So uh, Clone Wars is still the best cartoon out there on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, I think of any. It's so well written. It's dark. Uh, it gives you hope. It's sad. It's it kind happy. Of retcons some of the movies as well. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, also, there's a really great video that you, you should tell everybody to watch. It shows all the clone troopers that die all throughout Star Wars: The Clone Wars. It is absolutely hilarious. Really? Yeah, it's really great. You just like the ship blow up, and it goes like thirty thousand clones dead or whatever. It's awesome. So it's like it basically shows like the value of like Jedi saw clones is more than just clones. Right. That's what uh, that was the whole point of the clone. Movie. And then they like, you know, flipped a switch. They have the inhibitor chips with they which they use to, you know, ascribe that the Jedi are bad and then all of a sudden everybody's dying. So Yeah, um yeah, so you can send that link to me and I'll put that in the description. So and I'll check it out myself, might even do a reaction to it. So that'd be That would be pretty funny. Yeah. There's a lot of clones that die. So um, um but yeah, so like that's that's like it took all of that bad stuff from the prequels even there was some bad stuff in the original not a whole lot there was like a little messy like storyline telling and not but not a whole lot and then uh, a lot from the sequels and just shoved it into this movie it's like it's like jj abrams is like i want i just want to get out of this yeah i mean he didn't have much of a story to work with because of the last he, jedi he could have well, I mean, like, there was a lot of stuff he could have gone with. He could have ditched, like, The Last Jedi a little bit, but he could have continue on with that storyline in some way. For sure. Well, Snoke was supposed to be the Master Bad character. Okay. I don't think Palpatine was supposed to come no, back at no, all. It was just like... And they try to fix that with their, like, Disney books that they've been putting out, like, those big <coughs> um, books and that explain everything, you know, those books. I think yeah. Like, yes. um, I actually read one of them, Ahsoka. Um, it's actually really good. It's like Ahsoka's in between uh, before the Empire, but after the Jedi Order. Oh, yeah. That's it's awesome. That's what, uh, yeah, so, but, I mean, like, it, it, I guess speaking of Emperor Palatine, his face is, he... He's was, old. He, he, it, this dude has been sitting around for, okay, so how... How it's how it's twenty years, right? Twenty to thirty years after, yeah, just about. And this dude is probably sixty in uh, Empire, not Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Um, I mean, Yoda was nine hundred years old, right? Mm -hmm. Nine hundred and fifty or something. Because so the premise is that he can live as long as he wants because he's you know a Sith Lord, yes. and he has the you know Darth Darth Plagueis the Wise. You know he can save other people, but not himself. And so that really, saves himself. yeah, <laughs> you know, kind of does. And so it's like, he like fell down the shaft and then like was fine. He evapor like, so, even if he survived the shaft, he would not have survived the, the crash. Yeah. He, like, it doesn't even explain how he gets off. He's just like, I'm here. He probably did the space, what they did to Princess oh, yeah. Leia. <laughs> she probably like, oh, and like went to that planet. And then all of a sudden all these, all these troopers are on these, you know, on these star destroyers, like, and they just rock. There's like thousands of troopers. They yeah. call they call them Sith troopers. They have no lightsabers. They were originally supposed to have lightsabers, but then decided to do it. Glad they didn't. That would have been so stupid. But basically, all these troopers come out from the middle of nowhere, and I hated this uh, the scenes where they were on the destroyers. I was like, you know what they could have just done is like, yeah. <laughs> They're still in surface of this planet's gravity. All you had to do is, well, and all they had to do too is they were talking about how hard these you know, star destroyers were to shoot and kill. Yeah. And then an X-wing blows up one of the entire ships by shooting the weapon. The gun. They yeah. <laughs> so dumb. And so I'm like, okay, so an X-wing can take out one X-wing can take out an entire. We could have hyperdrive into those ships. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they could. What, what was that, Vice Admiral Haldo? Yeah. 
Yeah, they could have definitely pulled that, but they just didn't. It was very lazy, um, and they basically it's like they forgot about that movie and they're like that whole entire movie. Mm -hmm. It's like, wait, how did we escape from last time? And I forgot. And like, didn't they say no to us last time because there was no hope? And yeah. So basically, so all of a sudden, all these ships start appearing, and instead. They're like, well, we're just gonna blast open everybody. We don't even know if you're actually the root of existence. Yeah, and it's very interesting. They made it like premise <coughs> Darth Sidious was going to start like blowing up every planet. What would be the point of a Sith Lord doing that if he, the whole intention was to overtake the entire galaxy? Let's so do, this dude didn't even need the ships. He could just lightning, and he could hit every <laughs> single ship except for his own. <laughs> And so those affect everyone, and they take forever to fall down. And by the time they he, they have control, they're ba they barely move. Yeah. So that was dumb. So they basically just uh, tried to throw in a bunch <coughs> of stuff, uh, like a bunch of visual effects. Tried to please fans with like Lando Calrissian, uh, Chewbacca had like his his character in this movie was so weird. He at the end of this movie, fan favorite like. He just pops up out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, me and Luke were searching for this um, knife and that somehow can match the destruction of the Death Star. And so, and like... Uh, I, it was I, like a Sith blade yeah. and it gave them the opportunity to find, you know, where their secret hideout was. But my thought process is why would Sith have secret blades? That would be dumb. But then they're like, nobody knows where this hideout is, but there's like a thousand trillion Appar Sith troopers that know. Apparently Luke were, um, the ship that they're, well, the thing that they were trying to find for it, they were just standing on it, but when they stand on it, they sunk. Yeah, that was dumb. That Which, was by the way, the dumb part of that scene is that, so Finn was about to tell Ray something, right? He was about to say, um, Ray, uh, I, and I see doesn't never mention it out throughout the whole entire film. And um, J.J. Abrams came out um, himself saying that he was going to say I'm force sensitive. That which is that's the dumbest thing to ever say in a dying situation. Oh, absolutely. I would. I was expecting throughout the whole entire film to say I love you, Ray, which would have made completely sense more than the Kylo um, scene because it's just ah. It's the just, Kylo scene was cheesy crap writing. That was Disney. Um, yeah, well, that was a very Disney movie. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't murder more parents like they do in all the Disney movies. So, they killed everybody, yeah, basically. Disney, they killed Leia. Disney likes killing their parents. It, they really do. So, I'm surprised that they didn't kill Ray's grandfather faster because, you know, Emperor Palpatine deserved to die immediately. So, if anything, it would have been better if Kylo Ren killed Emperor Palpatine to cause power. Yeah. Ray and Kylo have a huge showdown. And then they use one of those Star Destroyers to blast open the entire planet where all of the Sith Lords are. Yeah. That would have been better. They, why, why didn't the Sith Lords do anything? They were just like sitting there doing this whole thing. Yeah, that was, that was so stupid. That was dumb. Like, it, there was only supposed to be, according to all these movies, which, by the way, the only, I only watch the TV shows and movies. I don't care about the books and the lore and all of that. The books are pretty good. Well, I'll probably, I can't believe it. But uh, I'll just probably check them out. But there's only supposed to be two Sith Lords. Er, since episode one, there's only two. Master and Apprentice. Yes. And then anytime there was more than that, Emperor Palpatine made sure that there wasn't. Yeah. So, you know, he killed off Count Dooku. General Grievous was not. He was a. He, he was a General Grievous he was, was not a Sith. He was just a lightsaber he was, wielder. Yeah, he was a puppet. Yeah. And so, and Emperor Palpatine would not allow all these Sith Lords to just sit there. Well, Darth Maul died. They replaced him with Count Dooku. Count Dooku gets killed by Anakin. Mm. Anakin replaces him. Anakin dies. Palpatine then, you're, well, Darth Vader dies by killing, killing Emperor Palpatine. Which makes that, which question is like, wouldn't this prophecy be a lie? It's like they just did it to make sure that they don't lose hope in, mm -hmm. which wouldn't be a bad thing. It yeah. just makes the whole entire other movies pointless. And the Knights of Ren were completely useless. Like they were idiots. They were completely idiots. Like, they... One of them were supposed to be a lightsaber, but that scene where um, Kylo Ren got... Oh, yeah, that like, was funny. Pulling it through the Force veil. Geez. Lame. But, like, yeah, so originally he was... Uh, one of them were supposed to have a lightsaber, but they wanted to get it over with. And like, then General Hux died. <laughs> they... 
people, so what the biggest complaints about the last show was like um, that the one that, I can't remember the name, but the actress that was in Jurassic Park, she was, um, people thought of her being a mole. So it's like, okay, you know what? We'll put a mole in there. Oh, you guys found the mole. All right, well, scratch that off. Dead. It's like, he, and then I killed General Hux. They like just shot him. It's like, I, uh, they escaped and it's like, and he just gets shot. It's like, it was dumb. It was really dumb. I was expecting that new guy to be, um, the mole because he just fell out of place. Yeah. And so, nope, he got shot, General Hux. And, but apparently he was with him for Palpatine since the start when his, when we don't learn his character's name at all. And so, it was very dumb. So, <laughs> any other <laughs> thoughts? What do you think? Uh, I think we were we jumped all over the place like the movie. We weren't kidding. Mm -hmm. um, Finn's storyline was terrible. Completely... You don't even know anything about him. He, he, um, they tried to compare him to another character that was a stormtrooper and but then left. They're trying. It to, was terrible. They're trying to hint that they they had con uh, conscience or the force, and so, but. It was a very tired storyline. How about Poe's girlfriend that we never see? Well, it's where she blew up oh, the planet was... and somehow survived. Made... Yeah, um, that was dumb. <coughs> that was dumb. Um, so basically, mm. all we see is that the rebels go to planets, and after they leave, the planets get it's... destroyed. And all the innocent people on them get it's, destroyed. It's like a video game. It's like, okay, we gotta go here. Okay, now there. Oh, no, it's actually there. Planet, blow up, planet, oh, blow up. Chewbacca, <laughs> Chewbacca's actually alive. Oh, no. Yeah, they did a, They kept doing that where they'd be like, so-and-so's dead. Just kidding, they're alive. Oh, no, somebody else is dead. No, they're alive. It's like, oh, please. When, when Chewbacca, Chewbacca acts, when he died, I was actually kind of a little upset, but then I was relieved, but then I was kind of like, I was kind of cheerful. It's like he told You wanted him to die because Chewbacca has been there for so long. It's like, now it's like, it, it would do his character justice that he died a, a hero. But, well, he didn't die as a hero, though, if that was the case. If he died there, he wouldn't have died as a hero. No, for sure. But I mean, he would have died, like, knowing that, like, I think the most unrated entire character is C-3PO. He, they say that he would never remember anything. Archie just had a backup memory, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. all right, well. That was dumb, too. Because I, I would have been like, okay, that's that's a heartful moment and taking away his memory would have been a sad thing to do in which we kind of enjoy it it's like he goes he acts all stupid even more stupid than he usually mm -hmm. does and so it was kind of funny but then they take away that whole entire scene it's like you make you made it's like you're making all these other movies pointless now you're making your own movie pointless mm. and so they didn't know and what to do. And C-3PO, all of the Star Wars movies are just characters making fun of C-3PO. Mm. That's the entire series. It's like, the end. I'm calling you guys my friends because you make fun of me. Uh, all the time. <laughs> They're like, C-3PO is an idiot, you know, or whatever. And it's like, c 3 po is like, I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. Poe yeah. really sh um, shows the jokes of C-3PO in his face a lot in this mm. movie. Yeah, he really does. And they see... He felt sad for him when he got when he took his memory away, and like immediately, like two seconds later, he's like, "Get get out of my face!" Oh yeah, that was <laughs> funny. That was like, where did that come from? But you know, every every joke is like, "What's happening?" And apparently, um, C three people can read Sith, but it's a, but uh, but they blocked it off from him. So. Yeah, the Sith. You can't know Sith language, but you can <laughs> know everything else about the Sith. That was tired. They did a bad job of that too. Yeah. So I didn't like when Ray said um uh, Ray Skywalker at the end. I was like, you, so because the whole point of this movie is not to be ashamed. Well, it's supposed to be like not to be ashamed of who you are, but then you regret what you were. Mm, absolutely. And it's like, wh where did that come from? You so know, you say you don't know that old band. You don't know that really that old lady. You just they were just figures absolutely you really didn't you were like L luke was a jerk to you he basically told you to screw off and like and Leia who are you i'm ray skywalker <laughs> terrible she's a palpatine so i don't know why she wouldn't say i'm ray palpatine like i'm a that, good one that because i mean she might get shamed for it, but at least she can change 
her name into something good. Yeah. And and she had a yellow lightsaber, which was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Which I'm pretty sure that they were only supposed to use by um, temple guards. Yes. But oh, cause uh, I don't know if that's canon, well, but whatever. Yeah, because a lot of this movie um, regrets all, a lot of stuff. But so, yeah, isn't it white sabers that I like better than either? Or is that the yellow one? Because I think they're both similar. It depends. I think it depends on like different <coughs> colors represent different things. So, oh, oh, excuse me. A purple lightsaber represents Mace Windu. Okay, <laughs> Sam Jackson. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, but otherwise, I like, the, well, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get the Force Ghost, but we just got voice. Oh, uh, that was stupid. Yeah. So, like, like Ahsoka's in there. I think Shock T's in the air. And, um, Mace, you get to hear Mace Windu, Yoda, um, Obi Wan. Uh, Ahsoka's Ahsoka. in it, and um, Shock T's in it. What's the guy from Rebels? I can't remember his name. Oh, Kanan. Kanan, that's right. Um, you hear a bunch of them, even some that I never recognize. Uh, I think there, I think there's like a few. Uh, I think not Kit Fisto. I don't think no. he's in there. Um, is it uh, Plo Koon? I don't know. There's a few interesting yeah. voices where it's hard to tell. Oh, Leia's in there. It, Luke's in I, there. I, yeah. yeah. I think it would have been much better if there were the force goes and they and because they were fit they can like m like touch like actual physical things mm -hmm. so if they came out and fought Palpatine and like you get to see Luke and Egg can fight Palpatine once again that would have been a cool thing yeah that no they didn't do that so, but, so. especially because they manifest themselves in the I force th I think originally they were supposed to but then they're like I don't think we got money anymore. Yeah. So Disney doesn't trust us with Star Wars anymore, which they're supposed to be making our old Republic. I hope they don't mess that up. If it's Disney, they'll find some way too. So, um, but, um, yeah. Overall, um, what do you think? Probably like I six gave, out of ten, I think. I gave it like a C plus. It's higher than a. I gave Solo and the, and the two of the prequels. I thought Solo was okay. So probably like a six out of ten. They did a good job of making sure fans were happy, but wasn't that good of a movie. So no, no. But well, yeah, and I guess Snoke was a clone as well. But I mean, Pal Palpatine could have been a clone as well. Who knows? Terrible, lame. Um, but yeah, thank you, Carson, for once being here uh, again. Uh, so hopefully we can have you on another one, maybe Black Widow or up there, upcoming. It seems like you might only come on with Disney movies, but so. Yeah, yeah. they're more fun to make fun of. So, um, he was here for the Birds of Prey um, review. Um, that will be uh, down in the description. And the in game review, that will be down in the description. And this time we didn't actually review in a parking lot. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that was pretty there, good. There was so much noise, and there was people. And we had to actually had to end the video because there was people coming. It's like, oh, okay. yeah. Um, but so, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys thought um, of Carson once again being back and, and what you guys thought about the movie down below. Funny jokes. I like funny jokes and yeah. harsh humor. So um, Like the video if you liked him. Dislike the video if you don't. So, Perfect. Yeah. Dislike it all you want. No. Thank you guys very much for watching. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out. Bye, guys.